Hey guys, Coach Kelly here. Today we're going over a push-up. Everybody should be able to do one of these. Everybody should be able to do these the right way. People cheat. That's why I'm going over it. The first most important thing is your setup on your push-up. So as you go to do this, your hand should be directly underneath your shoulders. Okay? People tend to do these out here, down here. Get your hands directly underneath your shoulders so they make a straight line perpendicular to the ground. Okay, I'm going to show you guys from my knees, right? Because that's where I have the best form from. So I lift my feet up. Don't cross your ankles over, right? Keep those toes up in the air. And notice where my back and my uh, and my hips are, right? Not dropped down like this. That's not a push-up. Not up here like this. That's not a push-up. In a nice straight line that you could, like, iron your clothes on, right? Long and flat like a table. From here, you're going to pinch your sides with your elbows, Keeping everything long and flat like a board, pinch your sides, go down, and come up. Okay? Down, elbows go to the sky, and come up. Okay? Those are super doable. Okay? You should be able to bang out about 10 of those. If it's too hard to do from the floor with good form, okay, I'm going to show you again one more time. Head on, right? Hands directly under shoulders. Elbows pinch my sides as I go down, okay? You can go all the way down to the floor if you want, but keep everything long and flat like a table and push yourself back up. Everybody cheats with these and they do this. That's not a push-up, right? Or they drop their feet. That's not a push-up. They drop their hips. If those are too tough, head to a wall, okay? Hands at shoulder height, right? Hands even with your shoulders. Back your feet away and go down. And come up and pinch your hands to your sides, right? These get harder the further back you go and the lower your hands go on the wall, right? You get closer to fighting gravity that way, but pinch your elbows to your sides. Keep your back long and flat like a table. Keep your cheeks squeezed together, okay? Start on a wall. I'm telling you, especially my high schoolers, start on a wall. There's no shame. Do it right. Okay, then as you get better at these, once you can bang out 10 really good ones on a wall, do five on the ground and five on the wall, right? You should be able to bang out 10 push-ups without too much difficulty, and they should be pretty, okay? If you're able to do them from your knees, then progress to your feet, and then there's lots of push-up progressions after that, but make sure you build a strong foundation before you progress them up. If you have any questions, please, by all means, reach out to me. This is a really important exercise to be able to do. No matter what sport you play, you need a strong core and a strong foundation in order to do explosive movements, which most sports are. I'm going to say, I'm going to make a bold statement. All sports, you need to be able to do some sort of explosive movement. All right. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.